Betty is my name and I have diabetes. Sometimes life's a bit different for me. Got lots of things to learn, but I'm here with my besties. Together we're on top of this, you'll see. Diabetes besties! How to inject insulin? My mornings? My mornings are like most of my friends' mornings, really. Except for... Behold! The most amazing, truly spectacular, utterly extraordinary, simply astounding, absolutely sensational... Finished soon? Cody the Syringe! Ta-da! How are you doing today, Betty? I feel great, Cody. Are you ready for your insulin shot? Ready if you are. My body doesn't make insulin, so I need to inject it. Let's go! Easy now, little one. Depending on which insulin you use, you may need to wait up to 20 to 30 minutes before eating. So before you take your insulin, think about your eating schedule. Okay, now I'm ready. Here are the steps for injecting insulin. Step 1. Make sure you're clean. First, I wash my hands with soap. If my skin is dirty where I will inject, I take a bath. Clean with soap and water or wipe with alcohol. Step two, prepare your supplies. Then I prepare all my supplies so that they're ready before I start. Step three, prepare the injection. First, I take the insulin. I use the milky type of insulin, so I must remember to roll it 15 to 20 times between my hands. Make sure the top of the vial is clean. I pick up the syringe with two hands and pull back the plunger, which fills the syringe with air. <laughs> that tickles! Okay, now it's time to make sure I push the air into the vial. Ensure that the needle is below fluid level and then draw insulin into the syringe. It's important to make sure there's no air in the syringe. Step four, inject insulin. This part may seem scary, but it actually isn't. It's pretty easy to inject the insulin. Just remember to not do it too close to the belly button. Great job, Betty! The injection doesn't need to be in the belly. It can also be in the arm, the buttocks, or the upper leg. Step five, clean up. After the injection, I put the syringe into a jar and then return the jar to the clinic once it's full. Thanks for treating me carefully, Betty. Thanks for your help, Cody. Now I just need to put the vial with insulin back in a cool and clean place until my next injection. All that is left to do then is wait until I can eat. If I follow these steps and use my insulin correctly, I feel happy and healthy. Betty, how do you know how much insulin to take? 